By the way, do you think we have the most left wing Nick Cage podcast? I don't know. I I <laughs> this is no offense to the other Nick Cage podcast, but when you do a Nick Cage podcast, I don't know how you could stand to listen to another one. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, that's true. And I do feel like there do you think there's like a tanky Nick Cage podcast? <laughs> Uh, I mean, maybe. Uh, yeah. I, it's like well, a podcast that instead of talking about pedophiles, they just talk about how great Joseph Stalin was. <laughs> <laughs> what is the leftist cage podcast? Uh, hashtag uh, left cage. Yeah, left cage. Yeah, <laughs> left behind. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is uh, his most like lefty movie. Uh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, because Nick Cage has been in a lot of right wing shit. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, it's it's not to say that Left Behind is uh, leftist like being, in any way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's like that's like choosing like the the hottest of the original Nazis. Like you lose no matter what. <laughs> that's like saying Ben Shapiro's sister is the hottest Shapiro. It's uh, it's not. It's not really much of a competition. Not, not much of a competition. Uh, but uh, Mrs. Shapiro, if you're listening. Um, Tweet me. Well, let's say you think my sister's hot. And, well, if you were to take our temperatures, <laughs> you would find that we are all somewhere around 98.6 degrees. And so listen, that means that none of us is much hotter than the other, and it is all relative on a daily basis. So let's just Therefore, suppose that my sister has huge tits. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you, 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 you said, I can't do the impression, but uh, you, you said you're going to make my sister uh, uh, wetter than the Indian Ocean. Um, well, actually, um, you should take her to the hospital uh, if that is the yeah. case. Actually, she does not have a medical condition and yes. thus cannot. And <laughs> frankly, that doesn't really mean that much because the Indian Ocean is not the largest ocean by uh, surface and land here. You would want to make her as wet as the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, she uh, her pussy's actually the Dead Sea. <laughs> it's very salty. Yeah, of Shapiro is almost Barack Obama. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, ev- everyone always says that my impressions just sound like Barack Obama. Like my Bernie Sanders sounds like Barack Obama. My Barack Obama doesn't sound like Barack Obama. My P. Bouges sounds more like Barack Obama than Barack Obama sounds. <laughs> yeah. That's a really funny problem to have. <laughs> All right, so uh, let me be clear. Uh, I'm gonna go on the Daily Wire, and I'm gonna frankly own those dumb lips. <laughs> all uh, all of uh, Taylor's other impressions sound like Barack Obama, but his Barack Obama impression sounds like Chris Rock. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. It's like, listen, um, so let me clear. Uh, there are two types of black people. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's, 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 I mean, that one one of the funniest Chapo bits is like Chris. Uh, I think it's Chris or Brendan. I don't remember, but he's like. All right, uh, Pete, it's nice to meet you. Uh, Brock, it's also very nice to meet you because they sound exactly the fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then when, remember when Pete Buttigieg was in Texas and he just got a Texas accent for no reason? <laughs> I don't remember that actually. No, he was like he was like he was like stumping for Joe Biden in fucking Texas with uh, with uh, Beta O'Rourke and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and he, I think uh, he means Skada. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> and there's like there's like a portion of it where he just like starts having a Texas accent for no reason. Oh damn, <laughs> it's the weirdest shit you've ever seen. And now like Texas, like, you know, Beta, Beta O'Rourke has Texas accent, but it's literally like, all right, so y'all, I'm here. And it's like, dude, you're from Indiana. Shut the fuck up. Why are you talking about you got a snake in your boot? Yeah, not not even from like Southern Indiana. Dude's from like two miles from the Michigan border. There's like no reason you should sound like that. Yeah. I was a big, uh, big Pete stan. I uh, learned the high, high hope stance, and I was doing it uh, oh, back yeah, to back dude. with the crank that soldier boy. Um, oh yeah, wasn't the Pete dance just a floss dance, but to panic at the disco? Um, well, actually, the Pete dance was uh, designed so that um, the uh, disabled could do it. What's the? Is, I can't say disabled, can I? Uh, what I, it was like? It was like uh, uh, they, they're basically like uh, we made this dance so cripples could do it. They would just edit that yeah, yeah, however exactly. you want. Um, uh, I think did, it's the least ableist dance. Yes. 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 Which, you, which is um, kind of odd because it makes you look like a retard. So it's actually a very ableist dance. Uh, and so <laughs> the, did the you? least ableist dance is also the uh, name of that Michael Jordan documentary that we were talking about. The uh, least <laughs> ableist dance. <laughs> Dude, oh. um, did you, uh, oh, did you see that fucking interview where they ask Pete what his favorite song is and he says the national anthem? What? Like, <laughs> He's I like mean, a fucking serious? robot, like designed to be like a fucking inoffensive politician. It's uh, just like sad. my favorite song is uh, "Happy Birthday." Well, that's like even even his marriage is fake because, like, you know, here's the thing, right? Is that like there? There's this whole thing. It's like, oh, that person, like that politician's gay. Like this politician, like Pete is the only gay politician where I'm like, he's not fucking gay. <laughs> Pete is the least gay person ever. Exists. Yeah, I I'm look sorry. at him and I say, tell me he's not dripping in pussy all day, bro. <laughs> 
Uh, so let me be clear. Uh, I have a lovely husband that I uh, have. Se- uh, as, uh, I, 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 I care about him very much because he's, he's a great I'm man. He frankly strikes me as asexual. But yeah. I mean, well, yeah. do you remember when he was like, he tried to do that? He tried to like kiss Chas and he went like. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the, it's the most. It was the worst kiss you've ever seen. And I'm like, you guys are supposed to be married. What the fuck? Uh, I am asexual, but I date men and I eat pussy. I <laughs> mean, frankly, Joe Biden and his granddaughter have more chemistry than Speed and Chasson. I mean, Jesus. Uh, by Wait, the way, what about you... Al Gore and Tipper Gore? Does anyone remember that kiss? I uh, uh, was that the oh. DNC. Yeah. Oh yeah, Back that was pretty awkward. Yeah. 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 Well, he was like, mm, yeah, like that. It was like it was like really intense. But yeah. he was just like, mm. that's true. Um, it was like a, it was like that one kiss from SpongeBob where you like six out his lips. You go. Mm. Speaking of Joe Biden, um, we should probably introduce our guest. Um, uh, shirtless uh, Hunter Biden is here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Does, does, is he sleeping with the crack pipe next to us? <laughs> he's uh, he's somebody, smoking with uh, somebody. Shake him awake. He's Rob got, Ford was that his name? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah Rob, in, well, Rob and peace. Doug Ford. Uh, I think I was Doug Ford. Wait, uh, no, Rob I'd... Ford is the Toronto guy. Who yes, and, and Doug Ford is the current, like, essentially governor of Ontario. Canadian okay. politics are, by the way, not any less stupid than American politics. That's oh, shoot. True. Wait, I does mean... Doug Ford smoke crack, too? I think they both smoke crack. I think you kind of got to smoke crack to be Frankly, a politician. Frankly, they're not. Well, I mean, okay, okay look, at that, look at that face. Look at that smile. He probably smokes crack. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he looks, me, like he looks like Chris Farley. He looks like Chris Farley and Donald Trump. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like I said, with, with a little bit of Rush Limbaugh Limba thrown in. I feel. Yeah. Ugh. Oh my. Okay. Yes. 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 They, it's like they did the fusion dance from Dragon Ball Z to create. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, Dave. Are we recording? <laughs>